Inside this video right here, I'm gonna give you my best tips to tackle your EMS job interview. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. If you're watching this video right now, tap subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and you already know, smash and annihilate that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm so more EMS students and providers can see content like this so they can get hired. Now, I'm gonna break this video down into two simple steps. Right over here, I'll show the breakdown. Step one is going to be expectations. What are you going to expect when you're at an EMS job interview? Number two, I'm going to throw at you all my tips that I have on this. I've gotten so many messages about this. It's time for me to tell my secrets. Here we go. So congratulations. You now have a job interview. What should you expect? You know, people have asked me, hey, what do I study for the job interview? This video right here. So expectations. Expectations, you should expect a physical piece and you should expect a verbal piece. So let's start with the verbal first. So really the EMS questions you're gonna get, whether it's a 911 service or an IFT, an inner facility transport service, the questions are gonna be around the same. You know, if you have experience in any EMS, where was that experience? If you don't have experience and it's entry level, then they're probably gonna ask you, what made you get into EMS? What can you provide? What can you bring to the table? Uh, more on that later to the company, right? What's your schedule look like? It, what position are you looking for? Is it full-time? Is it per diem? I will ask you some scenarios as well. You probably will get a scenario where they're trying to make sure that you're on your toes, you know? Well, again, whether it's IFT or it's 911, because in EMS, we all know crazy things can happen. So they can happen here as well. They might put you through a little scenario, okay, during that uh, verbal session. But again, the one tip here I'm going to give you, and I got more tips coming up, but this one I want to give to you here is you want to be yourself. And think about this. What do you tell your family about why you got into EMS? What do you tell your friends about why you got into EMS? Bring that passion into that verbal. Okay, that's number one. Number two is the physical, okay? So with the physical aspect, they need to make sure you're able to, you know, operate the stair chair, operate the stretcher, okay? Uh, be able to lift, be able to move. Now, there's a scale here. Some departments, right? Probably I'd say more fire departments. It's not a rule, but it's what I believe in usually. More fire departments or more usually, usually bigger departments like cities and stuff. They might have a more rigorous physical testing, especially if you're a firefighter too, versus just, just doing EMS because there's more involved. That's a whole new beast, but I wanted to point it out. Um, they may still require that. Or maybe a private service might just do stretcher and stair chair and some basic lifting. Again, I have a video. Um, I'll put the link uh, down below in the description if you need to get physically fit for EMS. Oh, I'll put it in the description. It'll be the second link there. You can see the video there too. All right, now it's time for the first set of tips. We know what to expect. How do we do really well? Well, the first piece of advice I want to give to you is you want to make sure that, hang with me here, that your personality and your drive comes across during the interview. You know, a lot of people during an interview, they get nervous, right? And maybe that they want to be almost too professional. They want to be too well-rounded. I want you to stand out. And what I want you to do, again, is I want you to think the drive that you had when you were there in your second week of EMT school or maybe paramedic school, and you know that, man, this is going to be hard, but you knew you wanted to do this. That's what I want you to bring. That's what I want the energy I want you to bring to that job interview, right? And tell it all, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of experience. I, I know a lot of you right away now don't have a lot of experience because you're just starting, and I know how hard it was to get that first job, so I wanna help you with that. Second piece, this is huge, hang with me. The second piece is this. You have to understand from the company's point of view, the employer's point of view. What does that mean? 
The company is hiring right now. So what that means is they need spots filled. If they need spots filled, they might have certain shifts filled. They may need certain hours or certain partner shifts that need to be filled. So what a great question to ask during a video is, what shifts do you have open right now that you're having a hard time filling? I'm flexible and I can fill those shifts. That might be a good piece, right? Now, one of the tips I give to, to new providers is work the hard shifts when you first start, right? Because not only are you going to gain a lot of experience working, you know, let's just say, for example, more overnights versus days because there's less people out there, right? Some ominous things, if you will, <laughs> you know, happen at night, right? We all know that. So that's what you want to look at there. Look from the company's point of view. What's making them hire? And then just fill that gap. You are the solution to their hiring problem. You bring it together, you get hired. There it is. Now, my final piece here on tips is everyone thinks inside themselves and they go, how can I make my resume better? How can I make my, uh, you know, my cover letter better, right? It's not about that. Your resume is your resume. You are who you are. You have good attributes that you want to bring to the table. I, I am with you on that. That's great. But here's what I want to tell you is you can't change that. That is what it is. If you're entry level, you're entry level. If you have volunteer experience or paid experience or no experience, you have as much experience as, as you have. So you can't change that. But what you can change is showing up on time or even better, early. Being one level dressed above what you're supposed to be. So for example, if they say, hey, you should really show up in like I am now, you know, a professional dress, like a polo shirt and dress pants, maybe you wear a dress shirt. Maybe you wear a tie. Maybe you wear a suit jacket, right? I'm talking about obviously from men here or for the same for, for females. Maybe you go one step above with that, with that business class dress, okay? Like I do here on this channel right here. Take a page out of that you can do as well, you see? So if you do that, you're going to stand out because the whole point is you can't change your resume, but you can change the way you speak. You can change your attitude. You can change your mindset. You can fill gaps they need. The final thing I want you to think about is this. If you were the employer and ask yourself this question, if you were the employer, why should they hire you? Ask yourself that question. And then bring that energy and bring that answer to them and tell them that. That's one of the big ones. That's the, probably the biggest one. If you put all that together, you're going to be a rock star. You got this. If you are watching this video right now and you are somebody who is preparing for school, getting ready for national registry, getting ready for out on the road, and you want my life's work, you want a video archive of content that you will look at throughout your entire career and that you'll use on a daily basis to get better. Maybe you're going for your first job right now and you're watching this video. I include on the job tips and even more detail on this inside my video study course where you get access to over 180 videos of content from pre-EMT all the way to your first year as a paramedic and what I've learned throughout that entire journey. So I'll put the link down below. You can join our private student group there as well. We're in the thousand strong. And everybody, thank you so much for watching this channel. Thank you for the shout outs. Thank you for the kind words about what I do. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions, like, go for it, you could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a habit. I went through it, I, I spent the time and money in other areas, and I'm, I'm just gonna let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, when I noticed it, it just, I, I just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. Just kept, oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these, all these, you know, links inside my brain. 
And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it.